Today a little bit of wind in Brazil and I'm testing out the latest version of the Surfwrap. I have two Garmin watches, the Forerunner and the Vivo Active. The Forerunner is a fully compatible watch and the Vivo Active is a limited compatibility watch. This is the Vivo Active 4. Good morning everybody, this is Herbert from the Surfwrap, still from Brazil, where the wind has stopped and the rain has arrived, giving us even more time to deliver amazing features to the Garmin watch. And just a few weeks ago, we launched our first version of the, Gar of the Surfwrap on the Garmin watch and we already made an extensive video about it. So make sure to check that out first and then come back to this video. Because in that video, we explain you how to install the Surfer app on your watch, uh, how to connect your Garmin uh, account with your Surfer account and much more. So make sure that you watch, uh, watch that video. The main feedback on the previous video and in our support email has been about compatibility and if and when the Surfer app would arrive to more watches. Today is a super important day because we added 60 watches to the compatibility list coming from just 30 watches we now support more than 90 Garmin watches, which is basically almost every watch. But there is one important but, and that is what this video is about, and I'm gonna explain you all about it, because we distinguish two types of compatibility. We have watches that are fully compatible, such as this Garmin Forerunner, and we have watches that are uh, offering basic compatibility with the Surfwrap. What this means and what the difference is, that I'm gonna explain in the video, as well as some other new features that we brought to the Garmin watch. So stay tuned, here we go. The first time you open this new version of the Surfwrap, it, uh, it will execute a compatibility check and it will tell you the compatibility that your watch has. So in this case, this watch is fully compatible and this watch offers only basic slash limited compatibility. On the watch itself, there is no difference and both watches offer the exact same functionality. So let's start a session and we see the exact same display where we will see on the water our indicative jump heights. Yesterday I took both watches out on the water and had a session in very light wind, so I wasn't able to jump super high, but as you can see in the shots, I was getting around five, six meters on both watches and they were fairly consistent, consistent towards each other. What is very important though, is to realize that the height that you see on the water is an indicative jump height. This height is, will not be visible in the Surfer app. This is an estimation and it's basically a simplified server algorithm that will give you an estimation of the height. So although it will give you a super good impression of how high you're jumping, at this moment it's not possible yet for us to offer you the high accuracy server AI jumps right on the water. After your session, after you save your session and it has synchronized to the Garmin Connect app, you will see your indicative jump heights in the Garmin Connect app, as you can see right here, an overview of all the jumps. Let's just quickly zoom in. And here you see all the jumps that I had uh, around the five, six meter mark. In addition, there is also this statistics tab page where you can see your maximum jump, 6.14, 17 jumps, the total height and the average height that I was jumping yesterday. By now you are probably wondering what is exactly the difference, what's the problem, because so far the watches do exactly the same. They show you the indicative jump height on the water, they show you your indicative jumps in the Garmin Connect app and some jump statistics. So here it comes. The only difference is that on fully compatible watches, we will also process your session with Surfer AI after your session has finished. So you come off the water, you save your session, your session is being sent to the Surfer app and there we will run our highly accurate Surfer AI algorithm on the data as, be, as uh, it's been recorded by your watch. And we will present you your session in the Surfer app with the jumps. And that functionality is not available to basic compatible watches, although your session will also synchronize to the Surfer app, it will not show you Surfer AI based jumps because these basic compatible watches, as of this moment, don't give us enough data to do this accurate calculations. All right, back to the Garmin Connect app. Um, and we are first gonna look at the session that I recorded with the fully compatible watch yesterday on the water. As you can see, I have all my indicative jump heights right over here and my highest jumps was around 6.2 according to the indicative jumps. In addition, this session is also calculated by Surfer AI and is available in the Surfer app itself where the highest jump has been calculated as 5.8. As you can see, that is a little bit different from what we saw in Garmin Connect, where it said 6.2. And that is because what we see in Garmin Connect is only indicative 
And these are my real accurate heights and a full jump breakdown, including a GPS map. Now let's have a look at the other watch that only has basic compatibility with the surf wrap. Same thing, we can see the session in the Garmin Connect app, including all the indicative jumps. The session is also synchronized to the surf wrap. So right here we have the session from this FIFO Active 4, but as you can see, there are no jumps. We know this was once again a lot of information. If you want to read more about it, go to the surfer.app slash Garmin. The goal of this video was to explain to you the difference between fully compatible watches and basic compatible watches and to explain the difference between indicative jump heights and surfer AI jump heights, which are only available to the fully compatible watches. So that is basically the summary. If you got that, then um, this video reaches goal. Before we close this video off, I would like to talk about one more new function, which is the calibration. This is available to all watches and this calibration will increase the accuracy from the indicative jumps. So if your the accuracy is far off, or you're not seeing the indicative jump heights at all, we recommend you to execute the calibration. So for to do so, go to the menu, find the calibrate menu item and press the start button. Then find a flat and level surface. The best thing is actually a floor or some kitchen counter that has a perpendicular wall to it. And from there we wait and we go to the steps that the watch, watch asks us. So the first step was to place the watch flat. The second step is to place the watch on its left side against and keep it as straight as possible. This will also take around 10 seconds. The third position is to is on the other side and this is going to take again around 10 seconds. Keep the watch as still and straight as possible. And you can have a look at the counter that is counting down on the screen. And this is a bit hard to see on the video, but it's happening right now. Three, two, one. And then we move it to the next position which is a straight up position. Also, keep it as straight as possible. The straighter you get, keep it the better results you will get on the water. Three, two, one. The next position is the same idea, but upside down. And there we wait another 10 seconds. The final position is the same position as we started with, but upside down and we'll leave it there for a good 10 seconds to make sure it finishes this step. If everything went well, you will see the message that the calibration has successfully finished and you can press the back button. And from now on, you will see in the menu that the calibration has been done and you will have higher accuracy on your indicative jump heights. Just realize these are all steps in our journey that has been going on for almost two years already with Garmin, where we have made massive progression, now having 90 watches available, having the surf app available to 90 watches. But we are not stopping yet. We are still in almost daily conversations with Garmin about how we can get more watches that are currently basic compatible to fully compatible. So you can also enjoy the surfer AI heights in the surf app after your session. So one more time, a big thank you to all of you. Your feedback is incredibly, incredibly important to us. So please keep it coming both here in the comment section as well as on our support email. And we will keep working on the next version. Actually, we started already.